tonight we're talking about a brewing controversy over in Weber County. A developer is applying for a conditional use permit to build a recovery center on a 60 acre plot in Hooper, and it's leaving many people worried. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Cade Garner has the story. Hooper City's motto is making life better, but some residents worry that a teen treatment center that hopes to call Hooper home will actually make life worse. This is a typical site in the city of roughly 10,000. Farmland encircled by homes, but soon some homes may surround a youth group drug and alcohol treatment center. So personally, I want to see the, the whole project uh, done away with. The idea doesn't sit right with many. They weren't prepared. They did not make us feel any more safe um, with, with any of the questions and concerns we had. The uneasiness all starting after a recent planning commission meeting where a developer requested the permit. A, a short treatment for us would be 30 days, but we definitely would, would, would do sometimes up to six months, up, up to a year treatment. If granted, this plot of residential land will be home to the 11,000 square foot treatment center. A representative for the developer tells the city council the center would be geared to serving affluent families and even alluded to a lawsuit if denied the permit. Take a listen to the audio. It's necessary for uh, disabled persons who are wanting to live here to have a facility like this for them. Otherwise, uh, they'd be denied the, the right and the equal opportunity uh, for the Fair Housing Act and that's illegal. While nothing is decided yet, it's still unnerving for some. From what I understand, doesn't have any other facilities, so they have like no experience. And I don't believe Hooper should be a guinea pig for a company like this to be um, experimenting on and cutting their teeth on uh, a rehab facility. I spoke with Hooper's mayor earlier today on the phone, and she tells me that the company simply applied for a conditional use permit, but didn't give the city enough information for the city to approve it or move forward. So they've tabled this until June 13th. Reporting from Hooper, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.